Aloha, hi, Vibe Tribe, it is Pink Bella. Let me just check and make sure you all can hear me. That intro seemed really loud, so hopefully it didn't blast you all out. Let me go back to the comments. All right, welcome back, everybody, and everyone who is here. I'm so grateful for you. Um, yes, please leave your questions in the comments. Let me know, let everybody know where you are and what's happening where you are um intense energies maybe there's environmental things going on like there are in my area and we'll get into that a little bit so i had to change the times around a little bit thank you everyone for uh being here i'm going to do like a 20 minute uh quantum reading for all of us today for september aloha and then um i'll take like a five minute break and then i'll be back for the quantum mini akashic readings thank you everyone for booked it did sell out pretty quickly I will come back and do another round. I just don't know when, but I wanted to, um, whatever comes in today, even if you didn't get a reading, whatever comes in today is going to be for everyone. We have twin flame, soul mission, higher self, um, lots of really, really qu good questions and good information. We all know that when we all gather together as this very high vibe tribe, that amazing, like I feel it's going to be very powerful today. So yeah, how's everybody doing? My name is, for everyone who's new and all the new subscribers, thank you. My regulars, thank you. My name is Pink Bella, also known as Tracy. I'm a quantum Akashic reader and healer. And my mandate right now is to help as many of you align with your mission, level up for your mission because we're all needed. We have four months left in the year. And I, I have been told there's crazy stuff that's coming. So, <laughs> so we need to be prepared. Woo! Oh, and let's talk about that super full moon. I hardly slept last night. Um, the moon, the moon energy was right outside my window. We still have seven planets retrograde. I'll get into uh, some of the ones that are going to go direct. We have, um, we've had intense heat where I am. We've had intense smoke very close to one of the major wildfires. It close and close relatively five hours, but still we were in smoke for a week. Um, blessings we had finally had a rainstorm that cleared some of it out. So there's been that going on and, um, you can look at my other videos. I'm not going to talk too much about that today, but the environmental thing is huge. That's kind of the next mandate to, um, disrupt everything out in the continuum, in the, um, in the, uh, in all of our realities, the collective consciousness. Okay. So I'm in Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm in Canada. I'm on the West Coast. I'm very much connected to Hawaii and what's going on in Maui. And of course, there of course there's things going on in Canada. Of course there is because I knew that I, I this is my grid point for a reason. Let everybody know where your grid point is. How are you doing? Have you had intense heat? Have you had intense rain? Have you had, um, how was the moon for you? So that super full moon mm, for me, and it's kind of happening a little bit right now. Um, what the seven planets retrograde is showing me and what we're cleaning up right now. So retrogrades mean going back in time, going back at like that song, going back, going back into um, realities and lower timelines to clean them up, to make new choices, um, to be shown things that we don't choose anymore. So we're going to be shown things collectively because there's seven planets right now. And then we're going to be shown things individually. So what I'm show being shown for me uh, because I'm helping many of you and then other people are going through this as well. We are under intense focus right now. I don't like to use the word, the A-T-T-A-C-K word, but we're, all of us are under intense focus right now. However, we have to remind ourselves that we are more powerful than that energy. And we're being shown previous timelines when we weren't, we're cleaning up previous realities and timelines. So, um, some of you might be experiencing headaches, uh, ear buzzing. I've been going through an, an intense cranium expansion, new neural pathways. This chakra back here is called, at the base of the neck is called the um, uh, um, ultimajor or the zeal point. That carries a lot of old imprinting from Team D. And what I was getting, it's not for me. I've done my cleaning up. It's ancestral that I'm healing and clearing. And it's been intense. I had intense uh, headache last weekend. It just came out of the blue on the Saturday. And same with last night. There was a, there's a lot of pressure on all of us not to continue, but we're all in our power now. And, or we're working uh, into that to just go forget it. We're, we're here, we're doing this and we're much more powerful together. So thank you everyone for being here. 
Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll just say hi to everybody and then I'm going to do a reading for us all and just ask if there's any other messages we need besides what came in yesterday. So Aloha Thomas, thank you so much for gratitude for you as well. Aloha M. Uh, Aloha from the Philippines. That's fantastic. Um, thank you, Sue. Thank you for booking. Aloha, Julie. Julie is also a beautiful Canadian tribe member. Aloha, Marcella. She's in the UK. Aloha, Zach. <laughs> oh, and Julie just, okay, I'm just going to show a couple comments just so I get practice at this. So Sue is in Kansas City, Missouri, I believe, right? Did I get that right? Um, and the energy is totally, yeah, crazy and off smart move. So that's, we're choice makers, right? We notice when things are off and we're choice makers. I had that, one of my assignments is our big shopping center with Wally Mart. And um, I noticed that a week ago and I was, I was in a very high vibe place. I did do clearing before I went, but it was very intense when I was there. I noticed everybody was walking all over into each other. <clears throat> so I felt like some frequencies had been sent out to confuse the collective. So I came home as well. I finished what I needed to do very quickly. I came home and then I sent the dragons and I sent a security team to clear to clean it up. The next day when I went, it was a lot better. So we're to pay attention what's going on, but we do have the ability to assist and clean up the timelines even after we've left it. Okay. Just with something simple like the violet flame and the dragons, Archangel Michael, legions of light, deep, deep blue dragons came in yesterday. So we'll see what wants to come in today. Uh, Julie just saw 999. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what I pulled yesterday. That's why I did that. Even that little live yesterday, I got the 99 for my myself. And uh, let's see, Zach from Georgia recently had a hurricane, so lots of water. I've had headaches and stomach issues as of recently. Yeah. So head, so the headaches like me too. We'll see what comes in. Um, I was given like, so we're going crystalline, right? So more of our neural pathways and more of the cranium area is expanding and upgrading. So we've been going through a huge upgrade, all of us. Uh, so that's what the headaches are all about. And the stomach is our solar plexus. So that too, that kind of hit me mid August. So again, our bodies are so smart. They're, um, they're detoxing and they're just showing us that. Um, Aloha Maria in Sweden. That's awesome. Welcome everyone. That's great. Okay. So I haven't even pulled any cards for us. So let me just I'm going to use the spray today. We've gone back to hot temperatures for a couple of days and then we officially have rain. So welcome everyone. I'm so grateful for all of you here. And isn't that interesting? So Zach's, Zach's area has had over amount of water. I'm living in a rainforest and we've hardly had any rain since July. We've had little spitter spatters here. Um, but there was, there was some clearing up a couple of days ago, which is good. Okay. I'm going to pull, just pull a couple of cards. I'm going to talk about the astrology and what's happening for the energy of September. And I'll pull some more cards for us. And yeah, excited. I'm excited about the readings today too. That'll be really good. All right. This came in yesterday. Serious star blessing. So as a Blu-ray, as a star seed, as a light worker, we are to keep unifying and working together. And we're to keep leveling up. And um, what we feel, if there's anything that pulls us up, out of alignment. Maui pulled me out of alignment because I have such a deep connection to that um, area. I've been going there since I was a little, little child in this life and I've lived there. So what we're being guided to do is surrender what we, what we need to back to the universe, back to our higher self and our guides so that we can receive instruction. But the serious team has been with us nonstop since, um, since July, since the 7-7 gateway, they are absolutely with the Palladians, with the Andromedans, with the Arcturians. They are, there are ships that are in and around the planet. They are monitoring everything very, very closely. And some things are unfolding to show us, you, me, everyone, that there is a lot of crapola that's still going on down here. It's not quite complete. We're not quite at new earth yet. And we've, you and we're all embodying the new templating, the new codes to come up with the ideas to take action for new earth. But we absolutely have to see where it is. Like, did anybody expect that to happen in Hawaii? No. So, um, so that to me is like, that's going to be, that's the big focal point. I know some people were getting that something was going to happen in the U S to help facilitate and awaken. So this, I feel that it, that's it, that it's happened. 
Uh, will there be some other things in the future? Potentially. Yeah, potentially. So anyway, let's get into that. Uh, so serious star blessings for all of us. They're here with all of us. Um, they're just guiding us and letting us know that whatever star system, whatever guides we uh, facilitate with to ramp up our security. So uh, yesterday I asked Prime Source Creator, who am I working with? They brought in Archangel Michael, Legions of Light, the Dragons, and uh, my Arcturian team boots on the ground team. And so we are to ramp up our personal security and protection uh, going into September and happy new month, everybody new month of September. So that's what the retrogrades are showing us where the leaks in our personal systems are and where they are on the planet. Yes. Proceed, be seen, push through. So as ground crew, we're to keep going, which is fantastic. I'll, I'm, I'll come back to the questions um, soon. Okay. There we go. Violet Flame. So something as simple as the Violet Flame, for those of you who are new to this tool, find some uh, meditations online and get really familiar with this tool, and then you'll be able to just invoke it. There's also, you can ask Archangel Michael to assist you. You can ask St. Germain. You can ask um, the goddesses to assist you. You can ask the dragons. There's a golden violet flame dragon. Okay. Karmic release, radical transformation. So it's just something as simple as the violet flame will transmute a lot. Whatever, if something is stubborn and it's not being transmuted, that means it's not energy that can be transmuted or is interested in being transmuted. That means it needs to be deactivated and deleted basically. And that would be that would be the technology that would be the black boxes that would be the prions that would be the ai stuff okay yeah and one more card archangel michael's sword of light i love it great messages today i knew this would be a powerful session so um call in archangel michael legions of light and the sword of light for divine protection to dissolve cords um, and break through the energy. Okay. Break on through to the other side. Amazing. Okay. And what's the bottom of the deck? The I am presence, right? That's what we are. We are these very powerful light beings. They don't like that. They don't want us here. doesn't matter. That's what we came in for. We came in to kind of anchor in our light, activate our earth star and make sure that we, um, that we stay empowered. All right. We're going, all of us are going through a, an incredible light body activation and we're accessing more of the divine within more of our reconnection to source universal energy. But of course that was disconnected in many other realities and timelines, including the fall of Atlantis, fall of Lemuria, fall of uh, Egyptian, all the stargates <clears throat> and some star seas light workers were trapped here. Some of it's ancestral trauma. So we're healing traumas personally and collectively. Okay. And I just wanted to talk about Ursula. Yeah. Yeah. So Ursula, thank you. She's so upset about Maui too. It <clears throat> such a shock um, for a lot of us. I really had to work through a lot around that. I'm wearing my rings that I got in Maui way back in 2000 and 2011. Um, I wasn't even really awake yet, but I was invited to go there. I was in between homes and Maui called to me. So I'm working with her as well. I'm working with the energy that was working with Maui. She's recovering. So it's going to be okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. Let me just review this too. Hold on. Uh, okay. I have to wait. Hello, Katrina. Thank you for coming on. Okay. So for the uh, live readings, I'm just going to read out the list of who booked today. And then those live readings will start um, in about 20 minutes or so. So um, there's Amber, Myra, Sharon, Sue A., uh, Susan Baca, Kat Katarina E. Okay. And, um, if Susan Baca, if you join, let me know and I will, you're the only one I hadn't heard from to see what you wanted to for the session. Okay. Before I forget, because I often forget about this, I'm going to ask also the cards about our soul missions again and what else we can all be doing. Yes. There's been interference for many of us. So, as an example, a beautiful soul in South Africa, she said that her her um, mission's been blocked for two months. So pay, what I was given about that was, so pay attention to that. When, when it's a long period of time, that means we're all, you, me, all of us, we're leveling up to get around the delays 
get around the interference and to use some of the tools that we're using for others on ourselves and, and move into another level. So that's what the retrogrades right now are showing us, okay? Because that other team has no right to block our mission for that long as well. They've done it to me. Um, I was even getting yesterday that there was a, a discrepancy for people trying to send me emails and like this fog comes in when so many planets are, planets are retrograde. So there was like a, um, a fog. So many of you couldn't reach me or weren't able to watch the videos or have been unsubscribed, all that kind of stuff. So I've done some work around that to clear up my platforms. I'm way, <laughs> way more aware around all of this um, from the last two years, for sure. Okay, before I forget, if you're on Soul Mission, if you want to level up, if you want to work through the gateways, a couple of very awesome bundles that are on right now. The Quantum Alignment Bundle is specifically for gateways. It brings in multiple pieces from, um, you know, Soul Mission, Ascension, Healing, uh, Ancestral Clearing, all of that. So the bundles, really, you're getting a one session three. There are three sessions, so you're basically getting one session free. Um, so there's the quantum alignment bundle for the gateways. There is a soul mission, Blu-ray, starseed activation bundle. There's also one just if you don't resonate with being a starseed, there's a divine purpose. Same thing, three session bundle. And that come, I bring in the blue rays and the blue flame activation for you. There is the supernova bundle, which includes a also the advanced J sales. And by the way, the advanced J sales is for me, from my perspective, other um, souls out there probably do the session differently, but because I'm clearing and releasing so many seals, tags, and implants, it is a distance quantum healing session, no video call for your security and for mine. And that way there's no interference. And actually it's more pleasant for you because you just rest, meditate, receive. I put you on a healing crystal, crystal grid and it's a much more pleasant experience. So I know there's been some confusion with some people. I, it is a, it, when I say distance, there's no video calls. So I do have um, quite a few distance sessions and some people prefer that. It's more relaxing than being on a Zoom call, right? Um, so the the Supernova package is 75 minutes of mix and match Zoom, all different sorts of sessions. And then there, uh, the new, the ultimate soul mission leveling up. And I'm only going to be working obviously with a few people around this uh, because it's going to be for a greater length of time. So the Diamond Ray package is nine sessions of three of my most popular bundles, and it will take you three, six, nine months, however long you want to work to level up, activate your soul mission and get moving. And we work on that together with lots of healing, clearing, chakra balances, all of that. The platinum ray bundle, the same, but it's four bundles and it's for a long period of time. And it has the healing of the platinum rays. The first one has the healing of the diamond rays on top of all the other rays as well. Okay. So I just wanted to share that all with you. That is done. Housekeeping is done. <laughs> okay. Let's just talk a little bit about the astrology for this month. Let's get into it. So first is September. We have seven planets retrograde right now, and it has been kicking our butt, all of me as well. They're, they're all connected to our chakra system. Whether we work with our chakra system or not, we can activate a pillar of light, but those pillars will unactivate into a chakra stargate vortex if there's energy that we're clearing out, because therefore our physical body, our avatar, um, when we have physical symptoms, that means there's blocks in the meridians and the chakras. Okay. So, and there's nothing wrong with that. That is normal. So they're just, they're just to give us intel. Okay. So we're super excited. First off, we have Venus all about love, abundance, relationships. We'll be going direct on September 3rd. Hallelujah. Super excited about that. Um, then we have a Virgo new moon on the 14th of September. That's super interesting because Mercury is also going to be going direct on the 15th of September, which will be great because anything that's been delayed and any miscommunications, emails, elevators, not working, etc., will, everything will start. That's how we notice we're on a new timeline. Things start to flow. Okay. Um, and these are just, you know, tangentive timelines. Like I've already experienced Mercury going direct for me because I've had an elevator out for three weeks and it, I just came back from a walk yesterday and the elevator's working, right? So that's that's how we know. Um, in, so I feel like the first two weeks of September are going to be super powerful and for us. And it's also going to be a very powerful, like lots of intel going on out in the collective, okay? Mercury will go direct around the 15th. Then we will also have the very powerful equinox of moving into Libra season. 
between the 21st and the 23rd of September. But I find like, I feel like it's going to open up the gateways can open up on the 14th with the new moon in Virgo. And then we have an Aries full moon, September 29th. So we're going to get a reprieve and not have another full moon for a month. Thank goodness. Cause the, the super full moon energy to me, I found very intense and very disruptive this last one for sure. We do have another planet going retrograde. So we'll have, let's see, we'll have at one point, we're going to have five, just five planets retrograde, but then Jupiter's going to go retrograde on September 4th. But that's, um, that does show us Jupiter is the, the expansive planet about abundance and prosperity. But again, that retrograde will just show us where we're tidying things up and where we'll be creative and come up with other ways to manifest and create abundance as well. And abundance is health, wellness, prosperity, um, our, our dreams come true. Okay. All right. I'm going to put, pull some more cards. You're welcome. Let me just see. So aloha, Katrina. Welcome for being here. Okay. That, I, I'm going to show Sue. So Sue's having back issues. So thank you, Sue, for sharing that. So I know other star season light workers that are going through the same thing. I'm not having it in my spine this time. I'm having it in my head and right back here. And it is energy that's trying to push its way out. So hopefully the full moon was still here last night. I'm hoping in a day or two, everything will start to resolve. So yeah, if your chiropractor is away, just use whatever tools you have, you know, um, alternate um, hot and cold and hopefully it will move. And I know when I've had back pain and my back has gone out through mercury retrograde and eclipses, that is also another common symptom of mercury retrograde is physical pain. It's to force us to slow down and take care of that certain area of our body. Okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. Aloha. Aloha, Arizona Raven. Welcome. Good to see you. And welcome, Em. Of course. Yeah. I, now that I've got my technology back up and running. <laughs> Yesterday, I had to fix uh, StreamYard. And there was something else. Oh, yeah. My tip jar on my website wasn't working. So those two things are now fixed. So that's another thing that got brought to my attention. Okay, so that's enough about the astrology for the month. We'll just get back onto the reading. I'm just going to turn this off so it's not distracting me. Perfect. So I'm going to ask, I'm going to use the mermaid deck today and just see uh, tarot-wise if there's anything else that specifically wants to come in as we're having a big peak at September. Okay. Okay, Ace of Cups, which is love. So some of you are manifesting partnerships, divine unions. That's with Venus going um, direct. Make note of, be really, really crystal clear um, that it's not, that it's something that you, you're you really, really clear about and that that other individual as well. But the Ace of Cups is also just about offers. Some of you are waiting for offers, maybe a new job, maybe a new home, maybe um, collaborations. And so that's coming in September, which is awesome. And things will be less choppy. They're saying when Mercury goes direct the middle of the month, but doesn't mean that offers won't come. Oh, I love it. Three of cups came in yesterday. So we got three of cups and it says reunion, but three of cups is just also about celebration. And look at this. We've got <laughs> dolphins, dolphin energy, and we got cups yesterday. We had wands. So cups are about offers. Cups are about, um, um receiving as well making sure that we're in our that's when the planets are retrograde we kind of get moved into instead of doing mode into receiving mode okay oh and we have the king of cups i'm shuffling <laughs> shuffling yesterday it was wands king of cups understanding so from my perspective when i pulled these um messages the kings are to me prime source creator goddess the universe whatever you work with and that energy is very much wanting to come in and and be more compassionate and we're to work on receiving more of that energy so i think i shared yesterday that some of what i was being shown was way back in 2017 and 18 where i had set intentions that wasn't aligned with that energy because back then i wasn't working specifically with the quantum field in that way or with prime source creator okay so we're to sort of start recalibrating and surrendering what we can't use. We're to trust and have faith that what we're 
working on that what we're sending out you know if i'm sending out quantum healing to maui and the residents and all of hawaii i just know because i'm working with prime source creator that it's manifesting in various ways so we just trust and have faith we might not be able to see everything right now but we have to trust and have faith that when we're in our integrity and we're doing things for things and you know for the highest good whatever we're being guided to do that for the highest good that's why i always say for the highest good because that will manifest in a positive way bottom of the deck seven of pentacles so there is potential for september for lots of abundance and prosperity lots of dreams manifesting lots of powerful shifts and changes seven is about the energy moving forward and just because jupiter is going retrograde it doesn't mean that there won't be awesomeness happening okay i'm just gonna see I'm just going to pull a few more cards. If anybody ha else has something they want to share about what's going on in their area, what's happening in your, your part of the planet. Okay. Spiritual union. So that is not interesting because that was the first one was the Ace of Cups. So spiritual union within to manifest that divine union without. But for some of you, that's what you're manifesting and working on. And that is a potential for September, which is perfect. It's also integrating the divine feminine masculine. It's also in a way like there's one cup, right? Like the Ace of Cups and there's an infinity symbol on there. So the more that we do the self-love, self-worth, self-care for ourselves, that's our vibration. And that's what we, that's what we attract. Okay. All right. balance that came in i believe that came in yesterday too 11 yeah keep looking for your, your numerical signs um that work that are your signs as well but the 11 11 but balance wings being activated again just a reminder that everything that's happening right now is to help us remain in balance no matter what's going on in our reality and what's going on on the planet and number one awareness so there's that crown chakra third eye activations for more of our superpowers to come online. That's what I, that's what I've been going on. I literally had to ask my teams to come in and help me last night, help me fall asleep. I took something natural to help, but I know that it was, it's an upgrade that's going on. Some of you have been and, or um, will for a little bit longer be going through a dark night of the soul, doing your shadow work. But again, we, if we re look at it, like this is Intel being shown to me, how can I heal and clear it once and for all? Okay. Okay. And that's an 18. And they're letting me know by the 18th, which a lot of planets will be direct. We'll be heading into the Libra energy and the equinox by the 18th. Um, everything will be a little bit more crystal clear about our guidance and our direction. Okay. What other cards do they want me? This deck. And this deck. Oh, I was going to pull some soul mission cards too. Okay. Okay, I'm going over just a little bit. Hopefully the other, <laughs> hopefully the other call, the other one won't start without me. I'm not too sure about StreamYard. Okay, so we right now we're aligning our life. Okay, we're realigning our life. We're getting redirected, recalibrating our life. And, and we're being asked, what is not aligned in your life and needs to change? And I'm going to pull one more inspiration number three inspiration so you know when we hit up when we hit up against a wall then we get inspired how can i get around it we start to be creative and understand that we can okay this is also cassiopeia um which is another beautiful star system constellation for so for some of you that's message in the number three we got the three cups twice or three times can uh including yesterday so we got a three 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 and I want to pull some soul mission cards and just see if anything is blocking any of you, any specific. Um, oh, yeah, interesting. Specific messages. Okay. Yep. So this came in yesterday. You are, you are, we are all protected. Work with Archangel Michael. Work with the security team to help you feel stronger with whatever's going on. You are safe and supported while you change your career. Prime Source Creator is just waiting for you all to kind of bring that energy and wrap it around you like a cloak and work with Archangel Michael and the Legions of Light and the Deeply Dragons. Check out the video from yesterday 
listen to uh, frequencies, music um, to help you stay calm and stay focused, to help raise the vibration of yourself and your home. And options came in. So, and that's the Libra energy. So for many of you, this is going to be such a powerful month because by the time we get to the equinox, your, there's going to be other options that are opening for you. Consider the career possibilities that are open to you. So this is a very powerful time from now through the equinox to do healing and clearing. Okay. Let me just see. Thank you, star child. I was in a massive dark night of the soul, started feeling better the past few days. That's great. Yeah. And I feel like that is what a lot of souls are going through. I feel like humanity, the collective energy is going through that because it is very, um, we're showing the dark, we're being shown the dark, right? And so for some of us, it's inter it's internal because it's things that we're healing and clearing for ourselves or our ancestors. And, um, but we're also clearing a lot for the collective as well. I know some souls have a agreement for the collective. Okay, I'm just pulling one more dragon, unicorn and crystal. But again, go check out yesterday's messages as well. So we got the royal blue and gold dragon which is beautiful because the blue frequency is so powerful for us right now strengthens you to stand in your power with wisdom awaken to your own majesty wear your cloak of power and pride perfect wonderful message for us for starting off september and what i love about this dragon is it's got the sword and we already have the sword of light right okay let's ask for a unicorn message for everyone adventure yeah, a reminder that this is an adventure. It's not always a fun adventure, but it is an adventure. There's the um, Aurora Borealis. Uh, dare to do things differently. Manifest your dreams. Um, some of you might be called to do some travel, to go, uh, move to a new location, or even just go on a, a short little day trip, all right? I feel like there's going to be more grid work assignments that are coming in as well. And let's pull one more crystal. And then I will say aloha to everybody. Oh, I love it. Turquoise. So blue stones are super important for us right now. What I love about turquoise or any blue stone, it's not only protecting our throat chakra, but it's like bringing kind of this bubble of this blue frequency around us. But turquoise is also very grounding. I was getting yesterday to make sure that you've got some kind of grounding stones with you. Black tourmaline, shungite, um, mukite jasper, and then turquoise right now is throat and heart chakra balance. And what I love is turquoise is actually very connected to the wisdom keepers of the planet, the indigenous souls. And I love it as well. And I'm wearing my turquoise today. Yeah. Okay, beautiful tribe. I think that that's all I have time for. I'm going to sign off and um, just say love and aloha to everyone. Thank you, everybody. If you would like to work with me, um, check out the description box below. Email is the best way to get a hold of me. Wonderful offers on today and to help you all level up into whatever you, whatever you came in to do and be to help humanity. Okay. Love and aloha for our divine soul missions and divine purposes together. Yeah, you're very welcome. It's time. It's time. Uh, boots on the ground. We are, we are, um, the team. We're the ground crew. Okay. Love you all so much. Just give me five minutes and I'll start the other call and I will be back very soon. Thank you everyone for being here today. So grateful. Love and aloha.